Hello and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and we are on the Faster 7 series where I show you how to speed up your Windows 7 operating system by slowly but surely going through very, very simple steps. Actually, it's probably pretty quick. It's not that difficult. A little bit of clicking, a little bit of typing, a little bit of clicking, a little bit of typing. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you how to modify your paging file. Go up to my computer and right click on it and click properties. And that's going to bring up your standard uh, system properties. And what I want you to make a note of here is down here it says installed memory RAM 3.00 gigabytes. Remember that number, okay? Now I'm going to go to advanced system settings. And up here under the performance section, I'm going to click settings. And in the advanced tab, you have a virtual memory setting. And it says total paging file size is whatever your paging file is. Now what we want to do is we want to set this to one and a half times our actual paging file, our actual amount of system memory. Now for those of you who don't know how this works, it's very, very simple. Click the start button and go to your programs and then you go to, uh, let's go to accessories. I'm just going to pull up the calculator here for those of you who disabled your search and I'm going to select calculator, okay? Now for every one gigabyte of memory, you have 1,024 megabytes. Okay, multiply that by um, however many, uh, I'm sorry, however many gigabytes you have. So I have three gigabytes, so 1,024 times three. So that's how many megabytes I have of memory in my computer. Now when it says three, it's actually, you know, it's, it just, it rounds. That's how they do it. So what I'm going to do is multiply this number by 1.5, so times 1.5. So you're going to take your number and multiply it by 1.5. And that's 4,608, so that's 4.6 gigabytes, okay? Now, I disabled the automatically managed paging for size for all drives. I disabled that, I unchecked it. I'm gonna click custom size, and we're gonna make this 4,608 for the initial and 4,608 for the maximum. Then, we have to make sure we click set, and then if you look up here at the top, it says 4608 to 4608. Now what this does is paging file memory is memory that's set aside on your hard drive for when you run out of installed memory. So I have three gigabytes of installed memory. Now Windows in the background constantly is trying to determine how much paging file memory you need. Well, we don't want it to automatically determine. We can tell it how much we need so that it doesn't have to constantly resize the paging file. This will probably have more of a performance increase for those of you who have lower amounts of memory than it will on those of you who have a lot. But it still doesn't mean you shouldn't have it set for this. So that's basically all paging file is, is it's just a way of, hey, tell Windows this is what I want it to be. I don't want you to waste resources trying to figure it out. So that's all there is to this video that optimizes your paging file. It's not that complicated. Um, remember, you take your total amount of memory, convert it into megabytes by total amount of gigabytes, multiply it by 1,024 to get your megabytes, then multiply those by 1.5 to get your total paging file. It's not that difficult, basic arithmetic. If you have trouble with it, stop by the website at the forum and uh, go ahead and post a forum comment and ask me a question. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. There's plenty of tips ahead.